Whether or not New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell needs to reimburse the city for her first class travel upgrades may come down to who she works for. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Sheree Skipson. The city travel policy is that city employees must buy the lowest airfare available or pay the difference if they elect to travel in other sections. And Paul Murphy reports the legal question now is, does the policy apply to elected officials such as the mayor? A defiant New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell is refusing to pay the city roughly $29,000 she charged this year to upgrade her city air travel to business in first class. All expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed to the city of New Orleans. One thing is clear, I do my job and I will continue to do it with distinction, with dignity and integrity every step of the way. And so. That's what I'll have to say on that. The city's travel policy states employees are required to purchase the lowest airfare available and that employees who choose to upgrade from coach economy or business class flights are solely responsible for the difference in cost. The policy also states any reconciliation of travel expenses that results in overpayment by the city requires that the employee reimburse the city within 20 business days. Well, the policy of the city of New Orleans says that employees, if they decide to fly first class as opposed to the lower fare, they have to reimburse the city. The mayor listed the city of New Orleans as her employer on her financial disclosure form. But New Orleans attorney and legal analyst Tim Mesh says that doesn't necessarily make her a city employee subject to the travel policy. But the issue is traditionally what have mayors of municipalities been considered? And in just about all the circumstances, they're not considered to be employees. City Council President Helena Moreno says she is now seeking legal opinions from both the city attorney and the council's attorney as to whether the travel policy applies to the mayor and if she has to reimburse the city for her travel upgrades. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. So we asked the city administration to clarify the travel policy and whether it applies to the mayor. We did not get a response to that question in time for this newscast.